Mackenzie Johnston with Cattle News Central, bringing you your June 6th cattle industry headlines. Brought to you by 4T Ag Insurance. Colt Tritt, he is the owner owner and operator of 4T Ag Insurance. He is a one-man show. He himself ranches, so he understands all the risks that come along with the livestock industry. His experience with ranching allows him to help producers set up their operations for success, something that you are not going to find with a large agency that just hires agents that do not fully understand the industry. If you are not, if your operation is not already enrolled in PRF insurance, be sure to reach out to 4T Ag today and get enrolled. You have until November 15th to do so. And if you want to learn more about 4T Ag and check out everything they have to offer, head on over to 4TAG.net. That is the number 4TAG.net. We are also sponsored by Circle 5 Cow School. If you're wanting to learn how to preg check your own cows or start AIing, Circle 5 Cow School is definitely the way to go. Almost every week, they are hosting classes somewhere between Texas and Tennessee. If you want to check out their schedule, head on over to circle5cowschool.com. That is the number five in there. Or you can go ahead and just give them a follow on Facebook. National Beef Wire has reported in the month of April, U.S. ag prices increased 25% year over year. Live cattle prices in April April were 139 per hundredweight, up 13% from 2021. Calf prices in April in April, golly, excuse me, in April, they were 186 per hundredweight and they were up 11% compared to the same time last year. Some other interesting price increases to note in the month of April. Eggs. They were up 166.6% compared to last last April. So last April you were buying a dozen eggs right around um right around 80 86 cents per dozen and that was just on average. Today consumers are spending about 229 for a dozen uh for a dozen eggs. Corn has increased to an average of 708 per bushel. That's up 33% year over year. The one commodity that has only seen a marginal increase in price year over year are hogs. All hogs, so we're talking barrows, gilts, and sows, they've only increased 0.79% year over year to 76.20 per hundredweight. Feedstuffs has reported last week, Forsman's Farms unfortunately had one of their large egg laying barns burned to the ground in Wright County, Minnesota, and along with that, 200,000 chickens were killed. The barn housed 200,000 chickens, but chickens in surrounding barns were also impacted due to smoke inhalation. The cause of the fire is believed to be accidental, but the state fire marshal is currently conducting an investigation. Horseman's Farm sells over 3 million eggs per day to some of our nation's largest retailers. This update is also sponsored by Ag Risk Advisors. They manage your risk so you can manage your operation. With the weather being unstable, there's no better time to look into coverage for your feed crops. The annual forage deadline is right around the corner. They're stated, with their state-of-the-art technology and superb customer service, you can be confident that your policy is in good hands. Ag-risk advisors, risks averted, legacies preserved. Rovers has reported that gas prices kicked off the month of June with a bang as they set a new record on Friday of 476 per gallon, and that is for a gallon of regular unleaded. This is up 174 per gallon compared to where we were last year. Experts say that there is a good chance we could see the national average of gasoline reach $5 per gallon by the end of the summer. But, the, but with the price increases that we have been seeing, I'd say that we are going to get to five, five dollars per gallon way before the end of summer. In the last 30 days, gasoline prices have jumped 52 per, excuse me, 52 cents. Wow. 52 cents. And, uh, there's no sign of these price climbs slowing down. Last Wednesday, President Biden told reporters at the White House that the U.S. has no immediate way to slash the price Americans are paying for gasoline. So instead, the Biden administration is considering other proposals, such as trying to set a lower price for the sale of Russian crude. According to Kansas State University agricultural economist Glenn, Ton Glenn Tonzer, Americans are usually on the road more during the summer. We all know that highways are very busy, which in the long run could have the potential to negatively impact beef demand. 
Of course, if folks are driving more, a larger portion of their discretionary income is going towards fuel costs. And Tonzer is concerned that this scenario may result in weaker beef demand and weaker protein demand over overall across the whole board due to people not having as much money to spend on meat. So, of course, if people are spending money on fuel to travel during the summer months, they're just not going to have as much money to spend on high quality, high quality protein. And we all know um, you go to the grocery store these days, prices are high. It's hard to hold on to your money and dollars can only be stretched so far. Speaking of fuel price increases, let's talk about diesel. Drovers has reported last Friday, diesel set a new record of 5.58 per gallon. And with hurricane season underway, there could be trouble on the horizon for diesel supplies as the U.S. is one hurricane away from a shortage. According to Patrick DeHaan, Gas Buddy Head of Petroleum Analysis, the U.S. is most likely one Category 3 storm away from a, from a shortage. Specifically, this storm would need to hit an area roughly from the Mississippi River to Houston. And for those of you that do not know, I did not know before I read this article, a Category 3 is the third largest classification on the Sefer Simpson hurricane wind scale. A storm of this caliber brings tropical cyclones with at least one minute maximum sustained winds between 110 and 129 miles per hour. If this storm were to happen, it would not only impact refining, but it would also affect offshore oil production, as one would guess. Experts warn consumers of diesel need to get used to these high prices as it may take years before we see any relief. According to USDA's Ag Marketing Service, through May 21st, total imports of fresh frozen beef were were reported at 506,699 metric tons, up 98,339 metric tons or 24% more compared to a year ago. Over 90% of these increased beef imports are coming from Brazil and China. Increased imports from Brazil can best be described as astounding. Through the third week of May, imports from Brazil were 71,798 metric tons, up 61,168 metric tons, a six-fold increase year over year. Keep in mind that this increase in imports only encompasses fresh frozen beef. If you want to talk about imports of processed beef, well, that number is 19,343 metric tons that we've brought into the country so far, a 45% increase year over year. Absolutely incredible what we're bringing in for beef imports these, these days. So if we're talking about imports, let's touch on exports really quick. National Beef Wire has reported for the week of May 23rd, so not last week, the week before, beef exports exports for the year total 17,900 metric tons, down 11% from the week before and down 17% from the prior four-week average. Again, it is incredible what we are bringing in for beef imports. Um, I know a lot of people say we need it. We need the trimmings, we need the the lower quality beef, and that is fine, but these amounts are are incredible. Out of this world, the increases that we're seeing. And then when our exports are down, it's just, uh, it's not a great equation, to say the least. That is all I have for you guys this morning. I hope you all had a great weekend. I was able to uh, head out to a friend's wedding out in Western Nebraska. It's always great to catch up with friends and uh, just enjoy that beautiful country out there. There's there's not a lot, there's not much out there that is better than Western Nebraska, in my opinion. I hope you all enjoyed the weekend. Hope you maybe caught some rain. We caught a few sprinkles here and we're supposed to catch some more this week. So definitely looking forward to it. You guys all have a wonderful Monday and I'll catch you later.